Welcome back to Forecasting with Friends, everyone. We have a bit of change of scenery today. Yeah, sometimes we like to move around a little bit. We have such a opportunities for places that we mm -hmm. can uh, broadcast. We've got to keep you on your toes, too. Right. Say, where are they? But we have a really good show coming up. We are going to do an in-person hurricane gear test. Yeah. Because we have the man, the myth, yeah. the legend. Totally. Something like that, right? Uh, yeah, it, we're going to talk about this right here, but we're going to need to kind of prep a little bit yeah. before we get into this. So and, we'll... you know, it's been dry. I drive around my neighborhood, which is usually luscious and green, and yeah. I'm seeing yellow patches of grass everywhere. I'm seeing that in my yard, too, totally. And, you know, we have to pay for the water. It's not free coming from the skies. And, unfortunately, doesn't look like we're going to be seeing really high-end rain chances for a little bit of time. So we want to talk about our drought monitor. And what is that showing right now? Well, a good chunk of the area is dry. Now, that's one out of five. But you see those spots that are shaded in that more of a light brown color. You see it out to the east of town and then northeast uh, out toward College Station, uh, maybe even close to Brenham. Well, they're in a moderate drought, two out of five, meaning they really haven't seen a lot of rain. So it's important to note that, you know, yeah, it's low humidity for us, which is nice you know, for you and I stepping outside, but not necessarily good for the vegetation. And, and, and what steps even further into that is the problem when we've got even drier air on the way, mm -hmm. um, then we in, increase the possibilities of that fire danger. So you can see that our humidity values as we play throughout the remainder of today are going to be dropping to the 20 and 30 percent range. And we always like to say the lower that percentage is, the better it feels for you outside. But, you know, you need to make sure that you're watering your grass and you're not just having a bonfire just because. <laughs> Right. And, I, you know, I meant to double check this, but I do actually think that some of our viewing area has the burn bans uh, that are in effect. So you really do need to double check uh, all of those areas um, b before you were to have that. any sort of ground fire. Like yeah. That. And I will say you're not going to want to because it's so hot outside. Right. Today, yeah. <laughs> but with this front rolling through, it's a little bit cooler. Maybe you want to act like fall. Still just probably not a good idea. And we're actually hearing from officials, uh, Governor Abbott also speaking with Montgomery County leaders and they have the disaster disaster excuse me declaration starting this morning because of that wildfire risk that is going to continue through the end of the week now it's because of that increased drought which we just went through we've seen it over the past few weeks and like JD and I just mentioned it might continue all outdoor burning is completely banned governor Greg Abbott has issued the declarations in 143 counties across the entire state now the governor also activated additional state emergency response resources to help support firefighters responding to these wildfires. Now, I'm not saying we have one right now, but it's just good to know that they're there if we need it, that we have the extra resources as well as response. But this leads us to our HGT. Yeah, this is fantastic. This, uh, just complete transparency here, uh, this package was sent to Ruben. I don't know if I told you that or not, but it was sent to Ruben, Ruben Dominguez. Everybody knows Ruben. Oh, right? I, I didn't even put a last name there. Yeah, I just you don't assumed need everybody to. knew what we were talking about. This was sent to Ruben, and Ruben brought it to me, and he's like, I'm not really sure I have anything to do with this. Can you do anything? So I said, like, Yeah, I can do with this. And Perfect. I also want to preface that this was sent because this talks about fire and fire suppression. Uh, and specifically, let me get the dates here uh, National Fire Prevention Week was last week. So mm -hmm. we were busy last week. Yes, we with didn't, the hurricane. Yeah, we didn't get to this. But uh, last week was National Fire Prevention Week, October the 6th through the 12th. And but this, this week was we sent. have the conditions that are ripe for it. So it's almost yeah. perfect. Yeah, it's better timing this way for mm -hmm. us for sure. But so this is this box from HALT is all about fire suppression. So we wanted to sort of dive into this and talk about it a little bit. Uh, first, th first thing is uh, they have, we've decided this is not a fire extinguisher. Uh, this is a fire suppressant uh, and it will help to to stop small fires uh, before they get out of control and the, I like the fact that this is a non-toxic formula mm -hmm. they say and that it's safe just safe around children fits in one hand yeah right it's just quick yeah totally and so uh, this would operate just like you think it would you give it a good shake pull the little tab and spray wherever you have uh, a fire beginning. You know, you're not gonna try to attack a large 
fire with this or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But if, when something is in the beginning stages, when it's starting to give you some problems, um, you could do that. And uh, I'm really excited because it works on grease. Yes, so important because you you don't have everything handy if you get a grease fire. Yeah. You're trying to flip the burgers off and you, there's so many things going on. So this would be nice to have just close by. You'll be good to go. And our director, Kevin, was kind of also giving us a little insight on a good time to use this, that if you were stuck in a situation, let's say in a room and you just needed to get out to safety, obviously you're not trying to put the fire out. You just want to get you and maybe a pet or a family member. This would be good to spray on it so that you can exit the area and then call for help. Yeah, so you're again, you're not going to be able to put out big fires, but at least you can sa get yourself to safety for that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I would think this would be great to kind of just keep under the sink Handy. in the kitchen because again when that grease fire in the kitchen pops up yeah. you just don't have a lot of time to be thinking about what am I going to do here to you know put this out where you've had something like that that would be great. so again again this brand is called halt I'm sure there's other brands out there and just mm -hmm. again talking about that fire prevention week but I also like the idea you talk about flipping burgers I have been <laughs> operating the grill <laughs> at the house Occasionally. Are you telling me you need I'm to watch saying, more of my cooking segments? <clears throat> I'm just saying, I've been operating the grill in the backyard and open that thing up and you're just kind of like, wow, what has <laughs> happened here? And I'm like, honey, <laughs> do we have some of the baking soda? Because uh, that uh, has been called into action before at the Dawson household. Uh, but this well, that's probably would be a little bit better way to do it. I'm excited about this. Do you have some ex knowledge, experience about this, a fire blanket? Are you familiar no, with that? No, but maybe Kevin can be in our ear while we're yeah. opening. Kevin, again, one of our fantastic Director. directors. So is Juan, also uh, back there. We've got a lot of them around here. We talk about them as much as we can, um, and, and um, high praises to all of them. But Kevin is the one who told me about the fire blanket. Another escape Another device. Another escape device. All right, fantastic. So I'm going to, uh, this is going to be a Spill classic. It out. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, we're never going to get this back in the package, but we're going to no. at least give it a try. Sorry, right? Ruben. So um, this is reusable, mess free. It extinguishes small fires, uh, stops liquid and grease fires as well. Ideal for kitchen and fire pits. Ooh, look at that. That's like, that's good material. Yeah, that's, that's like thick. some, ooh, this is like going to space or something, right? <laughs> this is fantastic. Look at that. Put it on, JD. Uh, like this? Is this how I put it on? Yeah, like okay. Superman. So I have to like a cape, right? Or let's say that if the box, if this box is yes. on fire, I can put, put, I can it, put over. it over there. That so then you are keeps able to the, get out. Yeah, and it kind of, again, takes Contains the oxygen it. away, yeah. keeps it in place, gets me out of the Or if there's a fire in the doorway, we throw it down, run over it, run over. that kind of stuff. It's a lot of good tips. And then if stuff. you can put it back into this, you know, you just stick it <laughs> under your sink. Yeah, Perfect. again, wherever you need to keep. And um, yeah, like a fire pit, that'd be good too. If the fire pit's getting a little mm -hmm. out of control, maybe you could throw that. Which uh, is difficult. Yeah, that. maybe you added too much wood or a little bit too much ignition. I think this is great. Totally. I, it's just things, you know, when we talk about hurricane gear test, it's also just like emergency preparedness. If a fire happens, not necessarily a hurricane, even though we have seen fires start in hurricanes, but just something good to have and an everyday use. I like yeah, it. Yeah, and you know, and you know, of course, they're having v quite promotional things on the back of the package. Yes. But it helps you kind of bring up some good points uh, th that uses the word reliable because mm -hmm. I I don't have to like think, am I pulling the tab in the right place or yes. has it Do expired? It I don't yeah. think this is going to have an expiration. I would mm -hmm. think like some of the the cans or the other extinguishers have. So that's going to be fantastic. Again, the brand is Halt with a fire as an exclamation mark. That's always exciting. Yeah. Um, and I those like are some it. those are some great things. So yeah, Fire Prevention Week, be getting you thinking about that a little bit and uh, staying safe around yeah. your house. Especially as things are so dry. Yeah, totally. But obviously we talked about last week, we covered the hurricane and we know that Houstonians are always willing to help. So our very own oh, yeah. Mattress Mac has called on the Houston community to help the victims of both Hurricane Milton as well as Helene, obviously back to back for the state in the South East. There is a drop off location at Gallery Furniture off the Northwest Freeway that you can drop off cleaning supplies, water, food, generators, dog food, you name it. Everything's going to be delivered by truck to the areas hit hardest by both of those storms, North Carolina, Tennessee to Florida. The drive's going to last for three weeks, so you have time. Max says it will be his biggest hurricane relief effort to date.
Wow, and he's done a lot, right? Yes. So there's, that's definitely something um, uh, that's going to be remembered if this is going to be the biggest one. Mm -hmm. All right, a rescue mission is what we're going to be talking about next. Is underway at the at this hour with the Houston SPCA because they're also heading to Florida to collecting pets yes. uh, to, rescued in the in Florida after Hurricane Milton. Shelby Rose has more from the SPCA as volunteers loaded up for the trip to the east. Well, this emergency response team within the Houston SPCA is certainly nothing new. They've been around since the 1980s doing exactly this, helping out shelters all across the country when they need it. So it was a no brainer for them when the Tampa Bay SPCA put out a call as they work to recover from both hurricanes Milton and Helene. Just a few hours ago, a crew of 13 people loaded into three sprinter vans full of crates and other supplies, which includes extra gas cans in case they run into problems when they get down down to Florida. It's a 15 hour, 1000 mile journey they have ahead and this team is expected to pick up 50 cats, 25 small dogs and puppies and even 20 bunnies and guinea pigs. When speaking with them before they left this morning, this team spoke about the mutual aid these shelters give one another in times of need. For example, during Hurricane Harvey, we're told 15 organizations traveled into town to help not only with taking on animals, but with boots on the ground. So at the end of the day, we were able to reunite about 300 animals um, with their original owners and um, uh, about 2,300 animals were rescued. So we, we understand the work that they have ahead. And so we want to do our part um, in helping out. And it's a quick turnaround for this team. They're expected to get back into town Thursday evening, and all of these animals could be up for adoption as early as this weekend. So just keep an eye on their website if you're looking to adopt. Reporting outside the Houston SPCA, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News. I love that. You can't forget about the pets and the fact that folks here are going to be able to adopt a lot of those dogs. Excited about that. Yeah, you know, my dog is adopted. Yes. And I I have to tell you, uh, just as a little plug here, I, I realized some from some coworkers over the weekend that they didn't know I had a dog. And I was just like, I felt Willow. bad. I know, I know Willow. I, I felt bad for Willow. I was like, how can people not know about Willow? You so need to post her more. I've decided to where we're going to have Willow Wednesdays. I'm going to start cranking out some content on Wednesdays, showing off my dog. People need to know that uh, uh, I, that Willow's in the house. Yes, so they do. Definitely want to share a rescue. that. Rescues yep. have the biggest heart and are yep. just the best. Oh, man, she just loves people. That's her job is to love on people. It's the best. Yep. They're sent down from heaven. Okay, guys, coming up after the break, we have more details on a farmer's market that Ruben. We, like, we love Ruben. And I went to. You went with him? Oh, yeah, we did. Wow. CSE Pineapple other things you guys are not going to want to miss it welcome back i'm excited because anytime i we get to work with ruben it's good stuff oh. And, the best. and you're there too, so I, this is going to be good. So it is officially the last day of Hispanic Heritage Month, and I actually got to go to the Houston Farmer's Market on Airline Drive. Have you ever been? Uh, I have actually been there. So yeah. cool. Yeah, it, it is fun. I, just certain, I enjoyed my visit. And so we went on a Tuesday, which was nice because it wasn't super busy, yep. but Ruben knew all the spots. He introduced me to some new foods. And did we have a pepper showdown? <laughs> I don't know, but you'll find out. This is kind of like the main drag of the farmer's market here. You'll see they've got all these little kiosks, all these little stalls. On Saturdays, forget it. You can't even walk This around. is shoulder to shoulder. All right, if you love Mexican food, I love Mexican food. Obviously, it's all about the peppers. Can you identify all the peppers that are on here? Um, I feel like I could do a few. Okay. Habanero. All righty. Yes, Bali. yes. Cheeto peppers. Now let's say, let's say you're making rice for about a hundred people. How big would that pot be? Ooh, oh, so you know what this is? Uh, queso fresco? It's, it's definitely cheese. I don't know that it's queso, f I don't know what they call this stuff. I love it. It's Whatever like, it it's like, it's like super salty and crumbly, but it's not a melting cheese. This is delicious. Mm, I've got a very soft spot in my heart for this. I hope my cardiologist is not watching this. It's keto friendly. If they don't have it, you don't need it. I think it's what we're going with this. 
All right. All of these herbs, the idea is, you'll see it'll say cholesterol, it'll say, you know, detox. So you make these teas, and they're medicinal. And this is uh, supposed to be the, um, you know, the homeopathic, I guess, way to, to live. So you're telling me that we can find a weight loss team here, and you don't need Ozempic? No, no, no. This is like the Ozempic Natural is available right here. One of my favorite things in the world is mole and you've got the really good fresh stuff right here. So you've got your Guerrero, Poblano, Michoacan, so that's from the different areas of Mexico. Hello, buenos dias. The sugar cane is as tall as I am. Yeah, so they'll put that in a machine and they like grind it down in like the water that comes out of it and they'll chill it and you drink it, it's really good. Pineapple. Pineapple, but they call it piña and now I have When I buy it at the grocery store and like chop one up, it's never yeah. good. This is amazing. Yeah. All right, Allison, what do you think so far? So, it's incredible, right? It makes me want to literally bring my own shopping cart next week. Yes. Well, really and you know, the, the price is incredible here as well. Are you sure you're not up for like a, a chili challenge? Yeah, no. This is good. So that you can actually put it on the fruit. Or you can cook with it, yeah. So we can put it on some of the pineapple we just what, you know what this is? What's happening here? Dia de los Muertos. Hey, I saw the Disney movie. You're up on it, man. God. See, for trouble. So I would have thought it was like maybe off of Texas. That's good. Ready? That is actually this guy right here. It, I've never had this. It tastes like melon. Come on, Do it now. Okay. All right, Allison, how did you enjoy your tour of the farmer's market? Oh, it was amazing with the best tour guide around. But guys, this truly is a family affair. Bring your cart, bring the kiddos. There is something for everyone. Yes, and come during the week because they are packed on the weekends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, packed on the weekends is right. Uh, I would think so, right? I, again, I'm like you. I went there in the middle of the week uh, during my visit, and um, it was reasonable. But even then, there, there were people there, right? Yeah. It was active for sure. Why not? Get your fresh fruit while you can. All right, October. You know, that means it's spooky season. Uh, and, of course, the pumpkin patches are up and popping around the Houston area. Fox 26's Coco Dominguez takes a, us inside one of the places you and your family can enjoy as we approach Halloween. For the first time ever, a pumpkin festival has invaded downtown Houston right here at Discovery Green. It is Houston Pumpkin Festival. I know you've seen it all over social media. I'm here with Miguel Garza. It is so beautiful, so authentic. Lots of pumpkins, lots of fun. It's for the whole family. For the whole family. We have swing sets. We have uh, tree houses, kayaks, bumper boats, corn pit. We have a trampoline, a lot of Instagram stuff, a lot of places where you want to take your picture, take your girlfriend or take your kids. You know, it's very, very friendly. And it's open every day? Every single day during the week, we are open between 3 in the afternoon, 10 o'clock at night. And on the weekends, we open at 10 and we close at 10. All right, guys, and I know you do see a lot of pumpkins, but these pumpkins are for show. You can't take them with you because they're there for other people to take pictures of as well. But there are some pumpkins where you can take, you can buy that are all around the Houston area. Check it out. Celebrating 75 years, Dewberry Farm, located in Brookshire, Texas, 45 minutes away from downtown Houston, has a full day planned for you, including farm animals, food, an eight-acre corn maze, and over 40 rides and attractions. General admission is $39.95. A Houston fave is back, Zubu 2024, with plenty of fun, including lion and tiger exhibits, the pumpkin lantern tunnel, photo ops, plus new this year, ghost town, glowing pumpkins, and talking pumpkins. Ticket prices begin at $20.95 for children and $26.20 for adults. 
Froberg Farm, located in Alvin, Texas, continues its fall festival tradition with pig races, a corn maze, pumpkin painting, live music, a paintball gallery, and so much more. Weekday admission is $15 and weekends are 20. And of course, you are encouraged to dress up for all the fall festivities right here at Discovery Green. Goes through October 25th. Get on out and enjoy. And they've even got shades. I don't think you need to sit in the sun all day. I'm Coco Dominguez reporting from downtown here. Houston, it's Fox 26 News. Um, fun. Well, you can scan this QR code with your iPhone or smartphone camera, and it's going to take you to our website where you can find a list to all of those places because it's fun to take the kiddos out. Hey, this week, actually going to be feeling like fall a little bit more, so maybe you can actually dress up, get those family pictures that you've been waiting for the weather to cooperate. So coming up just after the break, we're going to have a final check of your forecast so you can know what you can expect tomorrow. I promise you, you're going to love it. Guys, JD just told me he gives up <laughs> coffee in the summer, and I'm I upset. I have to. I know. <laughs> I have to on a regular basis. I'll, I'll slip a cup in there when I need to. But this is the transition period, right? When yeah. we can start. So we're drinking. ending summer, hopefully today, and beginning fall. So are you going to have some coffee tomorrow? I will have coffee this week. I'm okay. going to say this week. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Not promising tomorrow. Well, yet. yeah. I mean, if you had coffee or you're planning on it later today, you know, Midday pick me up. Please do the iced. Take a look at highs today. Yeah. Uh, anywhere from 94 up to potentially 98 degrees. And JD, when he got in, he goes, Do you think we're going to hit 99 again? And I was like, And I was joking. I really was. I, I mean, I will say maybe for some it's not out of the question. The models have been showing that today would be a little bit below yesterday, but we're still going to be above average. Take a look at these record highs for today, and we're going to smash them. Once again, low 90s. Bush and Hobby set back, you know, just a few years ago. Well, I didn't realize that uh, uh, 92 was the high, the record today. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm glad we updated this before I got to talking about weather to the public because <laughs> we're just friends like, here, no right? Way. <laughs> we're I, friends. Yeah, That's no, okay. I did. I was not expecting to uh, to break another record high temperature today. So it looks like we'll be able to take care of that without too much of a problem. Yeah, and we'll probably get close in College Station. So there's a stall front overhead right now, but do you see those little brown lines under where it says future cast? That's what's going to be ushering in that cooler air. It's a dry front, really not going to be seen much in the way of rain, but we could be seeing a few more scattered showers this weekend. But just take a look at this. 96. <laughs> is where we're saying today we'll reach potentially maybe a degree or two above and then waking up on Thursday to the 50s. That's about a 40 degree temperature drop. Lower 50s, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a pleasant tomorrow morning. Hey, speaking of the weekend, we got to talk about this. We're starting to uh, wrap things up for our, our program today, but you get to go and be a part of Fox Weather. Yes. You've done this before. Uh, so if you uh, aren't watching Fox Weather, you need to start watching it and this weekend especially because you're going to have a chance to be on. So we'll be on in the morning. You can catch us uh, Central Time around 8 to 12. And I know they actually rerun this segment into the afternoon as well. So you can find Fox Local on the website. Um, on YouTube TV, that's what we have, and it's on there. But it's going to be so much fun. You know, the Mets have been working so hard with back-to-back -back hurricanes. They need a break. Yep, so we're totally. happy to help them out. Go do some good stuff in New York, then. Thank you. See you guys later.